Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Devil with White Wings, and welcome to another episode of Hearthstone with the Sick Devil. Um, you might be wondering why there haven't been many videos up on my channel lately. Uh, long story short, I've been crazy busy with work and then promptly got sick again. So I just haven't been up to recording. Uh, I wanted to get something out today, so I'm going to upload this, just a quick uh, game of Hearthstone. Just... Uh, <laughs> show you guys what I've been doing when I haven't been able to play pretty much anything else. Oh. Uh, we play my demon lock deck just because I find it fun. It wins sometimes, it loses a lot. I don't mind. <laughs> so you can probably tell that my voice is still not up to snuff for proper recording, hence this short, simple thing that I can do without a lot of setup. Oh, oh. So I've been down with flu for the last week or so, it's been pretty rough. Um, pretty much a day or two after I got the Abatha guide finished, I got hit real hard and couldn't do much of anything. As soon as my voice clears up a little bit more, I'll be doing a lot more recording in terms of the Daily Quest episodes, which I really, really do want to be a daily thing. Um, I'll keep implosion, probably kick those back. Um, yeah, so... Cool, that's not so bad. Greetings. I greet you. That one, really good. Greetings, So, I have been doing some recording in the meantime. I have decided to, uh, make Asmodan the next hero that I'll be doing a guide for. He's simpler than Gazler and Abathar. Hmm. Interesting. Well, isn't it good that I have Dark Bomb? Oh, you can. So, yes, Asmodan's going to be the next one. I've been doing a lot of recording, kind of, without any commentary to kind of get a good backlog of footage that I can use for that guide. Um, it's been going fairly well, I'd like to think. And I think that I have a couple of different things to say on the subject of him. So this isn't a planned video, so you know, it's probably going to be a bit ordinary. As you come out, double floating watches. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, so this demon lock deck that I'm playing here, if we can get on to what I'm actually doing, uh, it started its life as a kind of. Uh, Okay with this. It started its life as what I called the Slow Demons deck. It was very much a kind of control warlock. Oh, I need to. That's that's not lucky. A slow, controlly build-up warlock that led to a bunch of really tough demons. Um, originally, it was terrible. Then the Void Caller card came out, and suddenly it became a lot more viable. You could have those big end of the game minions on the board very early if you got lucky. That's gonna be an exploding trap. Every time. Whereas uh, recently, with the addition of a bunch of new cards and even a couple of new ones from... Hmm, is that a snipe perhaps? Well if it's a snipe, I'd like to know about it. I don't want to play a floating watcher with a snipe on the board. So. Flame it. Alright, so it was a snipe. That's better than losing something better than flame it. I don't mind taking damage to the place. So yeah, with uh, so a few recent changes and a few tweaks that I've made to the deck, including the addition of summoning portals, which I had for a long time considered to be not that great, I renamed this deck the Surprisingly Fast Demon Deck. You end up in a situation where all of your minions, even like the six cost ones, end up being one cost minions and you can just slaughter everything. Alright, I don't have any really good plays here. I kind of want to use Power Overwhelming to clear this. Alternatively, I could buff the crap out of Ip Gang Boss. I think that's going to be better for now. I would have preferred to play Power Overwhelming and a Floating Watcher, but this will let me get a bunch of imps on the field until he manages to clear it. 
and I can always Floating Watcher next turn and then Life Tap to buff it up. Floating Watcher, by the way, one of my favorite new Warlock cards. It is amazing. It's not as good when paired with Malganus, since you can't actually hurt yourself anymore, so you can't buff it up easily. But if you can get it out on the field early, it can become a really, really hard thing to deal with by your opponent. <sighs> I have played a lot of Hearthstone in my time, uh, not so much recently in the last few months. I played a crap Hearthstone, really. That's not going to be hard to clear at all. So I'm going to go with my Floating Watcher Life Tap plan. Take out this Cobra. I could have done that better by hitting the Hyena first, but I don't think that's too bad. I don't value the Imp Gang boss that highly, although I should now that he's been Demon Hard. So this deck is all about taking damage and then winning the game. <laughs> I often end up around about the 15 or even as low as like the 6 health mark, and then I just come straight back from that and win. A lot of fun. Very interesting swing style. Uh, deck. Especially when you get Malganus out, if you have a bunch of these imps and then you can play Malganus, your opponent just really hates that. These become 3-3s. Three it's so, so annoying to deal with. You can take out my Watcher here, but it looks like he's not going to. Instead he's going to give me a few imps to play with, which is nice. I don't know about you guys, but if I were him, I would have killed the Floating Watcher. He is going to be really hard to deal with real soon. Are you going to do Hero Power? Yeah, I thought so. I seriously don't mind this damage, because I'm going to start hitting back even harder. Oh god. I like that, but I like Malganus a little bit more. So I'd rather get Malganus on the field before I play that. So what am I going to do this turn? I'm going to trade all these imps for these guys, so, so I don't want to be playing any Void Terrors this turn. I don't really have any particular desire to play any of these spells, so I think I'm going to play my other Flaming Watcher and then like that. So they're both getting that buff. Then clear his board. Hit him in the face. And all of a sudden we're tied. I have a very significant card advantage, I have two very strong minions in the field that are only going to get stronger turn by turn, and I could win next turn if he doesn't clear them right now, or play a taunt. So let's see what he well will do. Played. Hey, man, you did alright well yourself. Played. Well played. <laughs> yeah, guys, real is fine. Alrighty, so there's two ways I can win, I can play Malganus or I can life tap. So, I think I'll just like that. Go with the original plan. Get him buffed up. Could be M, clear him out, try and keep playing. But I prefer to just win when you have the opportunity. It's, it's kind of bad manners towards your opponent, you just kind of play it out and so on. And there's always the risk that you'll lose because you're an asshole. Hooray! So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will forgive the very short video today. I'm really just not feeling up to playing a significant amount of Heroes of the Storm right now, and I doubt that my voice would last, because I feel I can already feel that it's going to give up the goat, even in the next couple of minutes. So, look forward to more content just as soon as my vocal cords start working properly again. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.